good morning children next topic is traditional biotechnology traditional biotechnology means earlier earlier technology by ancestors by ancestors using the fermenting the bacteria fermenting the bacteria and it is based on the natural capability of the microorganisms okay so it is a earlier technology so it is also named as kitchen technology the oldest technology it is followed by the ancestors and using uh, bacteria fermenting bacteria this method is followed based on the natural capabilities of organism fermentation fermentation is nothing but the word we used to say uh, fermenting of uh, that is changing the milk into curd the process will be named uh, example for the fermentations okay so next uh, what is meant by fermentation where it is derived from so first it is derived from um, uh, derived from the latin verb latin verb then it is named as favori it is meant by to boil to boil okay and it refers to the metabolic process in the organic molecules organic molecules such as glucose converting acids gases and alcohols in the absence of oxygen okay and next one the study of fermentation process is named as cymology in the year 1856 it was brought up in the year 1856 louis for example this louis pasteur the fermentation caused by yeast cell okay so found by louis pasteur the fermentation caused by yeast cell it occurs the fermentation process occurs in certain types with the help of only the certain types of bacteria and the fungi occurs oxygen free environment to the living okay so absence of oxygen during absence of oxygen the fermentation process used to occur the food and beverage industries will be following fermentation process converting sugar into alcoholic beverages example ethanol okay so releasing of co2 by yeast is called the uh, fermentation that is leavening of breads preserving uh, flavor fruits and dairy products for example cheese curd uh, butter these are all the best examples for the fermentation process okay and next one the fermentation process can be divided into two processes before that we have to know the important example uh, the process that is used for um, um, fermentation process is named as bioreactor bioreactor is also named as fermenter bioreactor or fermenter it is a vessel or a container that is designed that is designed the optimum environment can be provided uh, and use microorganisms or enzymes to interact the substrate to produce the required product okay we can produce a particular optimum temperature and changing the a substrate into uh, our required whatever the product we are required can be produced by using bio reactor okay so here the agitation temperature and ph will be kept in a controlled aeration agitation uh, temperature and ph will be kept in control okay so this is a picture of for the fermenting fermenter okay so here we have any uh, many different parts in the fermenter bioreactor okay first one here it is a motor it is fitted with a stirrer or agitator or it is named as impeller impeller uh, or propeller to rotate against okay so this one it is nothing but the way to the substrate can be added into the fermenter for example we are adding a inoculum that is nothing but a microbes through this and here the oxygen concentration probe is present cooling jacket for complete rotation makes the temperature to be high so to cool the the fermenter here it is kept a cooling jacket there is a ph probe temperature probe and a sparger and here is our producing a particular steel as well as pressure gauges pressure a particular pressure should be provided to them so here it is present as a outlet okay so to get the product out so this is a complete picture of the bioreactor or fermenter that is used in the biotechnological process here the biotechnological process that is the important one is fermentation it is having two processes one is upstream process and another one is downstream process first the upstream process all the process before starting the fermenter before starting the fermenter it should be kept Uh, what are all the processes? So that process are all named as a upstream process. For example, preparation and the sterilization of the culture medium. Sterilization means 
uh, nothing but get rid of microbes of the culture medium and grow the suitable inoculum should be prepared so all these process before the uh, uh, product to be held uh, we are all preparing all the processes preparing process fully it is named as a upstream process and another one is downstream process after the production of the uh, product that is after the fermentation process what all the process will be followed that all will be named as a downstream process first one is distillation centrifugation filtration solvent extraction purification all these processes are followed after the complete fermentation process so it is named as downstream process so two types of fermentation process upstream and downstream process so next one application of the fermentation in the industries it is followed by two four processes okay so first one is microbial biomass production the what is uh, what are all the microbes we are utilizing we have to be produced so that is named as microbial biomass production algae bacteria yeast fungi they are grown in the form of dried and it is used as a complete protein substance so for example the complete protein it is named as a scp that is single celled protein short form it is named as scp so it serves as a human food or animal feed okay second one it is microbial metabolite microbes that produce the compound that is useful for the human and animals is called as metabolites okay so the metabolites can be divided into two metabolites two categories one is primary metabolites and another one is secondary metabolites first primary metabolites the, is produced in for maintenance of the life process of the microbes example ethanol citric acid lactic acid acetic acid it is secondary metabolite it is not required for the vital process but it is valued in nature for example antibiotics antibiotics for example penicillin that is produced from Penicillium chrysogen, Streptomyces, Streptomyces cretaceous, Tetracycline produced from Streptomyces aerophysian. These are all not required for life process, but it is valued for the preparation of antibiotics. Okay, so two types of metabolites are there: primary metabolite and the secondary metabolite. Third one, microbial enzymes. Microbial enzymes are cultured, uh, secreting enzymes. That types of microbes are called microbial enzymes. Here it is used for detergents, food uh, processing, brewing as well as pharmaceutical companies. What are the enzymes that are utilized mostly is protease, amylase, isomerase and lipase. Okay. All these are microbial enzymes. Fourth one is bioconversion, biotransformation or modification of the substrate. We are modifying the substrate into another one. So by fermenting the microbes, the capacity to produce the valuable products is named as a modification of the substrate or bioconversion. Uh, example, ethanol into acetic acid that is using vinegars. We are using vinegars now. So that is from ethanol to acetic acid. Isopropanol into acetones. Sorbitol into sorbose that is used for manufacturing of vitamin C. Stereols into steroids. Okay. So all these are the modification of the substrate we are getting so these are all some of the uh, applications of the fermentation process okay next one is single celled protein single celled protein it is scp it is the dry cells of microorganisms used for food and human animals okay the solution for protein deficiency faced by the entire humanity okay protein deficiency can be uh, sol uh, solved by means of using single celled protein okay so entire humanity they have the protein deficiency it can be reduced by means of single celled protein what are all the uses means high nutritive value uh, due to high protein vitamins essential amino acids are present lipid content are present so what is the drawback here in this uh, scp mean the conventional protein that we are using is high nucleic acid content is present and slower in digestion okay so these will be the drawback for this protein okay so microbes what are all the microbes we are utilizing for scp production is for example bacteria is methylophilus methylotrophus okay and the cellulomonas alkali genes uh, next one uh, fungi that is agaricus campus ris Saccharomyces cerevisiae that is nothing but yeast and next one candida utilis these are all some of the fungi we are utilizing for 
microbial that is SCP production. Algae, the spirulina, chlorella, chlamydomonas. These are all the single celled organisms. SCP is a so important source of food. Important source of food that they have high protein, carbohydrate, fat, vitamins and minerals. Okay, all these are present more. And next one is uh, used for astronauts and Antarctica expedition scientists. Astronauts, those who are moving for space, they will be utilizing these SAP productions. And this is the best example, the spirulina. You can know about that. Okay, it is a easily grown material in waste material, waste waters. For example, potato processing plants, that is the containing plants containing starch more and the straw, man use of animals, molasses and even in sewages in large amount can be cultivated okay so next one they are rich in protein carbohydrate fats minerals and vitamins and next one is nothing but uh, 250 gram of methylophilus or methylotrophus can produce 25 tons of protein that a single celled protein can be produced okay 250 grams will be producing even um, more than 225 tons of proteins okay so here the single celled protein that is a lacking of protein can be fulfilled by means of these SCP production what are all the applications of this SCP production application of SCP that is used for protein used as a protein supplement cosmetics products for healthy hair and the skin and it is in poultry it is an excellent feed for birds and it is also used for animal feed, fishes and cattle. It is also used as a foam stabilizers in paper processing and leather processing. It is also used in food industries as an aroma carrier, emulsifying agents and vitamin carrier. So these are all about the important points of SCP. Okay, protein supplement, cosmetic product for skin and hair and poultry feed, fishes and cattle field, uh, foam stabilizer for paper and leather processing, aroma carrier and vitamin carrier and emulsifying agents. These are all some of the uses of SCP. Okay, so this is the main important uh, one type of uh, SCP that we are using regularly uh, for the as a SCP product. Okay, thank you.